Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It and today I'm gonna show you how I made this custom doormat. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first thing you need is some kind of design or phrase that you know you wanna put on your doormat. I actually created this little design that says, hey there pumpkin, using the Procreate app on my iPad. You could definitely use the Cricut Design Space to create something and you can also buy digital files to use on Etsy. So I actually have this little hey there pumpkin design for sale in my Etsy shop for $1.99. It's just a little digital download. It gives you the PNG and the SVG file. So if you're interested in using that specific same phrase that I used, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop in the description below this video so you can grab it and use it. If not, just create your own design or buy a different one on Etsy and then upload that file to the Cricut Design Space and you'll be ready to go. Okay, so I actually used cardstock to cut out my stencil. I had tried using the Cricut stencil vinyl, I tried using regular vinyl, and to be honest, it was all a nightmare. So I'm saving you a lot of trouble. I had a very hard time. I wasted a couple hours and probably $15 worth of vinyl trying to get it to work, but in the end, the stencil vinyl just stuck together. And then the regular vinyl, I used transfer tape and it was a big mess and all ended up sticking together. So this was my final attempt before giving up. So I am using cardstock. I will link all the supplies I used in the description below this video like this cardstock but it is just heavy cardstock, nothing fancy, and it's just eight and a half by 11 inches, and then I cut that last piece so that I could fill up the entire 12 by 24 inches. Well, 11, obviously, because it's only 11 inches. So 11 inches by 24 inches. So then to cut the cardstock, I went ahead and put the Cricut on custom so that I could pick my own material, and I ended up using heavy cardstock, which says 100 pounds, and then under the pressure option, instead of doing default, I chose to do more so that it would just cut it several times. I think it goes through three times all the cuts, and that way I could feel pretty sure that it was going to really cut it really well and the stencil would be completely good and ready to go. And while it's cutting, I should go ahead and note that some of you are Cricut superstars, and I know that. And you probably would do awesome making a stencil out of the vinyl or the stencil vinyl. For me, it just proved to be really difficult, and I try really hard to only show crafts on my YouTube channel that seem easy for most people to do. And so I just didn't want to suggest doing something that for me personally took me hours and seemed really complicated because I was afraid that when some of you would try, you might get really frustrated and give up. And I hate to put that on you guys and I never want anybody to feel that way. So for me personally, the cardstock was just so much easier. Okay, so all we have to do now is weed the cardstock and pull up the pieces that we need to. So this is pretty simple. It is not tearing. The cardstock was actually really easy to pull up. Some of the pieces of paper did tear, but it didn't tear into the stencil part that is important. So it's okay if the letters tear apart when you're pulling them up as long as it doesn't tear the actual stencil that you'll need to be using. Okay, and you can see right here that it used one, two, three pieces of cardstock. You can actually see the seams right there. There's another one over here. But all in all, the stencil looks really good and I think it's gonna work really well for what we're gonna be doing. Okay, and so here's the doormat that I'm using. I actually got it really cheap at Target, so I will link it in the description below this video. This is the 18 by 30 inch doormat. It comes in a couple different sizes. So now all we need to do is peel up our stencil. When we peel it up, it's gonna leave behind those little pieces, like in the center of the P's and the E's, and that's okay, we'll grab them later. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel this up piece by piece and put it on the doormat. And then those little pieces, you can go ahead and peel them up and just put them where they need to go as well. Just take your time because you don't want the stencil to rip at all. So just be really careful while you're pulling things up. My mat is actually extremely sticky. I bought it brand new and I should have got the light grip one, but they were out at Michael's when I went there. And so this one is just brand new and really sticky. So probably get the light grip or if you have one that's already been used a lot, that's standard grip, that's okay. Okay, so unfortunately my phone actually died while I was taping the stencil to the doormat and I didn't know it, but all I'm doing is using just masking tape to tape the stencil onto the doormat. The doormat is obviously not something that's very easy to tape things to, and so even on the edges it's not sticking very well, but I had pretty good luck using little rolled up pieces underneath to kind of stick it down around the edges of where the letters are, and, and I even had pretty good success using the little rolled up pieces of masking tape to hold down the insides of the letters, the little inside of the E and the P and the K. Um, so just go ahead and use masking tape all the way around. You're gonna do it on the outside of the stencil as well as any little parts on the inside that need taping. So even if parts are just coming up and seem loose around the outside of the letters, just use rolled up pieces of masking tape, tape all around there. So once I was done with that, I actually just used pieces of computer paper because it was laying around and I just taped all the way around the mat to cover every other spot so that no spots were open and could get paint on them 
that I didn't want. Once that's done, you're gonna be using this Flex Seal. This Flex Seal is like spray paint, but it's actually made out of rubber, so it is extremely waterproof. So this stuff is awesome. I hadn't heard about it until I tried to do this project and found out that this was a thing and got some. So I will link this in the description below the video as well, but this stuff worked so great. So just make sure that all your little pieces are taped down really well. You don't want anything blowing away while you're spraying. And then just spray right overhead. You don't want to spray too much on an angle because you don't want the paint to go underneath like the little sides of the letter. So try to spray right above it. And then right away, I just pulled the stencil right off. So I did not let it sit or anything. I was afraid that paint could have gotten underneath the stencil somehow and be sitting there. So I actually pulled the stencil right up and then I used my little finger cot, little finger gloves to pull up all the extra pieces right away. And then I let it sit there and dry. Just make sure that you're super careful when you're pulling the stencil up because you don't want any part of the stencil that has paint on it to accidentally turn back and touch the rug because it will get paint on it. So even the little tiny pieces inside the E and the P, I had to be super careful when I was picking them up because I didn't want them to fall and turn upside down and put little black random spots all over the rug. So just be super careful and remove it quickly and set it to the side. Okay, so that's really it. That's how I made this really cute DIY custom doormat. I hope you love it. I think you can just make so many fun doormats for any holiday, any season, whatever. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye!